Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube video where I will be showing you how we can refactor our code in Spring Boot to get rid of a deprecated class in the new versions of Spring Security. So here I had a, a relatively old project that I decided to upgrade uh, the Spring Boot version to the latest and uh, yes i just realized that from this version and up which is the 2.7.1 uh, uh, version i upgraded my spring boot to uh, but also the latest versions of spring security which is uh, 5.7 and above i think um yeah they have deprecated the web security configure adapter i will uh, share my screen now and we can take a look how I will be refactoring this class so it works just as it was working before but now doesn't use the deprecated class so here we have um, our security config which is yeah, standard in a Spring Boot application um, we have always extended the web security configure adapter and then down here we over uh, yeah we were overriding the configure method and this other configure method where we were basically registering uh, our custom user detail service and also the password encoder so without further ado let's get started and first thing that what i'm gonna do is i am going to get rid of the web security configure adapter as you can see here there are also some unused code which I can also get rid of um, so yeah this can stay the next thing that we need to do is um, we don't use uh, the configure method anymore and we can already rename it to uh, filter chain method so this will return a security filter chain object and we can just name it filter chain now the good thing is that we don't need to do anything else apart of just building the HTTP object we need we don't need to change anything in our uh, configuration so next thing what I'm gonna do is uh, just build the object and return that we got the return so the first part is done now as i said um, we need to register the custom user detail service and the password encoder and the new way of doing this is um, we are actually returning a uh, dao authentication provider uh, this is a new class in the new version and authentication provider and this does not have any parameters and does not throw any exception and now the difference will be that we need to declare this new provider and the next thing is we need to set the user detail service and we need to set the password encoder I think now it is yeah it looks a bit more readable to be honest because we have a provider and we just register these two new beans in yeah we just return the authentication provider here we can get rid of this old stuff okay and we do not forget to also annotate this method because it should be registered as a bean as well the next part is uh, the authentication manager bean right so this still uh, is a bean of the same type it's an auth authentication manager and uh, i want to rename this without the bean it's it feels redundant but don't get me wrong it's an old code base and we need the auth config here and basically what we need to do is the manager resides inside the authentication manager so we return this 
Um, I'm not really sure about the bean ID. I think it's not really needed. So I will go ahead and remove this as well. And in my opinion, I think this is it. Let's optimize the imports here. Yeah. How we can test this if everything is all right. Let's go ahead and run this project once again. And we can take a look at the logs here that the Tomcat has started on port 8081. And we see that the request will be secured. So our spring security works just fine. I hope this will help uh, you guys. Uh, in my case, um, it wasn't very difficult to find out how to do this, but I think everyone who will need to upgrade this, their Spring Boot uh, versions can take a look at this video and yeah, just use it quickly. Thank you so much for watching it. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you can always uh, be notified when uh, such videos uh, are uploaded in my channel. And I wish you all a great evening and see you on the next one.